Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing two super simple but cute cards. I have prepped all the pieces that I need. I'm going to be using some of my Monster, Monster Bash uh, paper from Stampin' Up! and I've cut those to four and a quarter by five and a half and I used the cute books background and the spiderweb background. So I'm just going to stick those down to my card base and get that part done. Uh, we're gonna be using this super cute die of a witch and her cat and her broom from Gina Marie Designs. I will link it down below. Um, this website is another one that just kind of confuses me because the website name isn't Gina Marie. I think it's Gina Marie's website and she just has dies. I could be very wrong about that and it's not Gina's website. Um, I'm not even sure Gina Marie is a person. So, but the die is on that website. I will link it down below if you'd like to purchase it. It worked really well in my die cut machine and it popped out even the kind of intricate pieces. Um, and this is pretty thick black card stock since I found my thick black card stock. Uh, we're gonna be using a sentiment from MFT Happy Haunting. I'm picking two different sentiments from two different stamp sets. I wanted very specific witchy sentiments. So I went through my stamp sets to um, find the two best ones that I wanted to use. I'm going to be inking them up with my MFT ink and doing that twice. I'm also using my pressure pal for even pressure. I'm going to link the pressure pal down below as well because I don't stamp in my Misty without it anymore and it always comes out crisp. So there's that sentiment, and then I'm going to clean and get rid of the other one. Then we have You're So Bewitching from Spook Up Some Fun, which is a really cute Simon Says Stamp stamp set I got from somebody on Etsy. And this one says You're Bewitching, and it's a little bit thicker. And I'll be inking that up and doing two rounds of that one as well. And then I had to decide which sentiment was going to go with which background. I think I had it one way first and then I decided to swap them. Just waving that in the air a little bit to give it a minute to dry. So I'm going to clean all of that up. And then I had it this way at first, but I think the, the books were kind of busy so they needed a bolder sentiment. And the spider webs are just spider webs in the background, so they could have the thinner sentiment. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I chose. So uh, this um, size, so this is the die. I just keep it with my other Halloween dies. I'll link that down below. But then I also used the second size down of my wonky stitched rectangles from Cat Scrappiness. And the witch is going to go beyond a little bit like her hat will go off the top but that's fine because I didn't want to risk if I was using that same die set if I use the biggest one I'd be cutting off so much of the background that uh, her popping off the top a little bit is fine and I didn't want the sentiment to be too low I didn't want to run into the stitching on the die sometimes I get this really long glue worm out of my art glitter glues <laughs> that I have to get rid of on the image. It's really gross, but it's just glue. Uh, so being super careful to just leave a light layer, I don't want any of the glue squishing out. And if I do use too much glue in one area, I usually just pick it up with the tip and move it to another area. And then I just make sure I press all over, but I don't need to press too hard, just in case I do squish out any glue just enough so that she is pressed down. So there is one of them. And then we're gonna stick down our other card base. I kept these super simple tonight because I didn't have a lot of time. Um, it is kind of late and I did not pre-record videos like I had planned this weekend. And I had a very, very, very crappy Monday um, at work and just it was Monday, which have consistently been terrible for a while now, and I hate them. So I still wanted to get my video up for the day, but I wanted to keep it simple so it didn't take me too long. 
uh, but still really cute and something I would totally send out in the mail and I planned on doing that as well. So we will stick her down and that will be our two cards. Only because I thought of the two sentiments, I wanted to make two cards and the two backgrounds were pretty cute. So there's those and thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.